All right, so here it is. Basically, this is the beginning of uh, the trip, although we're already in New York. We're going to go. Not New I almost said New York City. We're, we're not in New York City. Far. This is the rest stop where you have to go over. Um, you're, you're like walking down this hall over the speedway, the freeway. I don't can't think of words today. And it's supposed to be very scary. You got to stand over here. Yeah, because it looks like the semi is going to come and hit you. Yeah! Just stand right here. Here it comes. Doesn't seem to be. Why? Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's in the middle of the road. Oh my gosh. He's going to smash into the... Whoa! <laughs> Doesn't it creep Yeah, out? that is pretty scary. Okay, here comes one more. What if we actually did hit any scrape? Uh, Alright, so we're going to go get some uh, McDonald's and then go to Canada. And then uh, after that, tomorrow morning, I don't really remember the time, but I'm going to be getting on a flight, Canada to Cuba, which will actually take shorter than it took us to drive here today. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to be good. Well, we're here at the uh, Kingsview Free Methodist Church. It's a little dark. There we go, some light. We're here at the Kingsview Free Methodist Church in on. It's not Ontario, it's in Canada. And, uh... Trying to find the bathrooms and ended up in this weird room with stuff posted along like toiletries, squinting, groaned, steamed. Don't really know what all those words have to do with each other. Very strange. Steamed, groaned, squinting, toiletries. Uh, other words like commiserated, critically squint, navigate, gust of air, shrugged, piped up. I don't really know what it means. Must be a Canadian thing. Um, but we're here. We're going to sleep. And then right in the morning, got to head out to uh, the airport, get to Cuba. So I'm going to go try to find the uh, bathrooms, like a little maze in here. Well, it's uh, about maybe 6.30 in the morning. And uh, here I am in Canada, the airport, standing all by myself with all the luggage. That's right, they just left me here and uh, should be coming back, they said, but um, it's not looking promising. I think they just, who knows, they could be, you know, anywhere by now, just kind of doing whatever. So, should be on the flight soon, going through security, going through all that stuff, and then... Uh, no. Then we'll be in Cuba, so it's gonna be good. Well, we're here in the airport. How do you feel about it? Great. And we got through uh, security, all that. Gotta go. Oh yeah. Well, why don't you do that? Um, we all got up to the thing, and we only had American money to check our bags with. So this really nice blonde-haired lady was just like, "We'll just wave all of them." So we didn't pay one penny for all our luggage at all. Well, and tell us what the significance of that means for this trip. Um, that means that we have an extra almost $300 to give to the Cuban people down there just as a blessing and as a gift. Yeah, and the thing is, um, they were saying like two, about 200 American dollars is like more than or around the same that they would make in a year. So to give somebody a gift like that is like, you know, in one day they're getting a gift that's more than they would have in, you know, making in a year of work. So it's really uh, just great. Just obviously not normal that we wouldn't have to pay extra for those bags, but uh, yep. <laughs> Pretty Canadian around here, so looking forward to it. We're here on the plane, and uh, there's a couple new upgrades in the Canada world, and that is these little back of the seat, back of the seat uh, TVs, which isn't that abnormal, but is this the home? I guess you put your credit card in here and just scan it, and then you like watch a movie, and this is like a touch screen. So, but I'm not going to be buying any movies. I don't need to do that. I brought a comic book. I'm going to do that. And, uh, well, I may do a little bit of sleeping too, just like this old friend right here. He's taking a little nap right on YouTube. And, uh, Amy is basically already said she's going to be puking the whole time. Like, and she actually took my book sitting right on her lap. Is that comment bag already? Because she's so excited just to get up in the air. Well, um, we're on the plane and 
got this food there, and Amy found a little surprise. Okay, now she's gonna now she's gonna tickle them. We are here. We made it. We are uh, at the Cuba airport. We're loading stuff up. And Amy's gonna take a picture. What do you think about it? She's not feeling that great about it. She doesn't like it so far. I'm nervous. She just feels sick, so. But uh, we got Pastor Javier on it. And Jorge here. And uh, we also got Manuel somewhere. I don't know where he went. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna pack stuff up, head over to the church, and just uh, do whatever. I don't even know what we're doing today. I guess just getting stuff ready, so. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So far, you've only been pretty, here. Uh, crazy in the airport there. Yeah. No. Getting hot. Did they give you a hard time about the, the piano or? Medium hard time. <laughs> Not that I haven't handled before. We are here at La Vicaria restaurant in Cuba and on our way down to the Havana Church. Uh, just stopped and Ashley has a uh, fish with some uh, potatoes and rice. I got the, it's called the vaca frita and it has uh, fried beef and with onions and garlic and all that kind of stuff. Got some rice, the two cola and what, what exactly did you get? Paella. And tell what's all in that. It's, Do we know uh, you? It's rice <laughs> and it's got it's rice and it's spiced and it has um, it has shrimp and it has uh, beef and we're not quite sure what this is. I think it might be a turtle. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of small. Professor Avi here now. Ask him what that is. Yes, this one. Lobster. It's lobster. It's a lobster. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I tried a little rice. It's very good. And I'm gonna eat now. It's so cute. I wish I could take it home with me. So uh, we snuck down here. No. Everyone else is still eating. Got to take this video. Okay. Of it, no, you can. Ex you can. This is the guy that got yeah. us, snuck us out. But we can't show this video about to anybody else right now. Yeah, a Cuban beach for American friends, American brothers. So this is a pretty nice, nice beach. It's waves, and it's just. It's so much bluer than what we're used to in America because they just put all this crap into the ocean. So very nice. There it is, the Inglesia Methodista. Sprawling view of the city. And uh, this is the entrance to the church here. This is the old um, car they call Mary Magdalene. An old classic. Just needs a few uh, additions and it'll be all ready to hit the road once again. Maybe, but probably not. But this is uh, the second floor, and this is what they're going to be making in their new sanctuary. Actually, this little elevator here goes up and goes up to the second floor. They could travel, you know, haul supplies up and whatnot. And actually, this is what we brought our um, we brought our suitcases up on there yesterday. And the thing is, it's kind of shaky and it doesn't start right when they think it will. And it was kind of like, forget the name of it. I think it's like the Pittsburgh Plunge or whatever, but or the power tower at Cedar Point. Basically, we were standing there and it was just like, it like plunged down like 40 feet. And actually before it went, I was like, um, is this safe? What if this crashes and dies? And the translator where I was like, well, then you'll be in heaven, my brother. So it's great. And then I was like, um, okay, well, I guess so. And we just went and almost died. But um, so we went up on that and come up here to the second floor and this is going to be the new sanctuary As you can see there's still a lot to be done it's just it's kind of nice 
to have all the breeze flying through. So it creates a nice breeze in here. So. This is the. Uh, this is the area where we we eat our meals and whatnot. There's a pastor, Pastor Javier, and then we come down here, down these stairs, and this is the actual current. Whoa! I almost fell off the thing there. This is the current church building. And it's locked right now, but I'll, we'll look in there a little bit later. This is the, that's where they currently hold their services. This is where we're actually staying, Steve and I, in through here. And that's normally for the girls, but that's where we're going to be showering this week and, and uh, doing a lot of stuff. There's a little corridor that loops back around down here, back towards where we entered through the main door. But just like I said, it just still needs to be finished, but... It's uh, it's just nice now because it has a nice breeze always flowing through all of the uh, through all the hallways and everything. So, so yeah, it's gonna be a big good time. Um, someone just let us into this room in the center, and then was like, "Mas comida, more food." So then we got. It's taking a video. Video. It's videoing right now. Ah. So we got some more food, and we have. Refresco. Refresco? Her favorite. Amy's favorite. Your favorite? My favorite. <laughs> We're here in Old Havana, and as they say, we're in Cuba. And we're going to get a calling card. Now, what that means, we're yet to find out. I'm sure it's going to be great. Everyone likes um, Emily because she has red hair. And I just got three wings and two. She gave her number out to at least five guys. We're hoping that she calls tonight, so that they call tonight. So yeah. Why don't you tell us? No, I don't. Guys, want you got a special picture. I don't little, want to. Um, this guy by the Capitol. He kept doing all these characters of everyone and passing out all these pictures. And then when we told him um, we don't have any money to pay for this, and he's like. What? I'm working here! And then he got really mad and stole all the pictures back. Took all the pictures back and then he went to the police and he was just like telling them that we didn't pay for like what he made for us even though he just made it without us even asking. And um, then we just basically, Javier, or Jorge was just like, let's go! And we just ran off before the police like showed up or something. And then... <laughs> I just ran into someone because I'm not looking where I'm going, so I better not do that again. Um, but still in, it's basically like Beale Street, but in Memphis. But um, really, doesn't seem like there's that much to do. So I don't really know what everyone's doing down here. I mean, I guess there is a lot to do, but it's just kind of different, as Amy would say. The largest cigar in the world, <laughs> I think. That's a huge Cuban cigar. Here in this uh, market in Havana, and it's basically just rows upon rows of actually the same stuff, like over and over, and ran some other random things too. But um, yeah. So it's gonna just see if we can find like any little things to, to uh, get. Well, Jorge bought us these uh, coconuts and you just literally drank the juice right out of them. There's a lot of juice inside of here actually. Um, I've been drinking it for a while and it doesn't look like there could be that much but there actually is. And they're over here cutting them up and everything. They cut it right off and put a straw in.
over just one little point. It's hard to see because I zoomed in, but it's really still hard to see. Actually, I was probably zoomed in super far in my face there, I bet. But, um, she's just looking over the edge. Like, she, now she's stooping down. She's just like looking at something and she has been looking at something for a while, but I don't really know what. And I was trying to see, it's like she's looking just down at a tree. I don't know, it's really weird, but when in Cuba. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Is this school? A bunch of kids and Jorge just decided, well, we're just going to look right in the window while they're having class. So, I guess that's what we did. And uh, Amy's just still looking in all these years later, and they're trying to do math class now, so. It has the age of Jorge, 23 years old. Oh, wow. We pick up this size from the sidewalk and we make all the process until now and he's like a big tree but he's just a bonsai tree, 23 years old. Huh. We are still working on it, as you can see. What well, do you have to do to cut that off? The oh, roots. you got it. You got we need, it down. But we need to cut the roots every two years. Mm. His son really likes Buzz Lightyear, so we got another Walt Disney World souvenir, along with some other little characters. Oh, <laughs> him trust his Buzz Lightyear with the Buzz. That's great. Let's go. This is uh, we're standing outside the Catholic Church, and there is witchcraft. He pointed out to us. This is what this is. <laughs> this is like a basically. and some other things that he said. They tried to do like witchcraft, who knows what, for what reason, but they did like witchcraft outside here, outside the church. And that's pretty crazy. Especially like the little voodoo doll. <laughs> so, I don't know, that's pretty disturbing. There's another one too, another hex bag. That's something I've only seen on TV shows. <laughs> Is that Ash's too? Okay. Come and dance. 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 Okay. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll still get it on film. This is the, uh... <laughs> this is the Jaguar from the 1950s. 52. 52, 1952. You'd see the Jaguar on the front. And he won the first place in the car club. So, Jorge had him come over and show us the car. And it's very nice. Very nice from the 50s. Very expensive. And he won the first place because it's still in such good condition from the 50s. It even has on either side uh, gas fill up. So he doesn't have to worry about you know pulling on the right side of the pump. He could just fill up on this side or this side. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so still great condition. This is the Mark, Mark 7. Mark 7. And it's got wood on the inside too, the original wood. The only thing different on the inside is the new tape player, but everything is just like it was just just bought. So, very, very nice. Just got uh, some fresh coconut chopped down by Pastor Javier, and he had two coconuts up here, and he chopped them up, and then I said, oh, you can have this one. And he said, no, no, mas, mas. And then he brought the elevator up, only to reveal, <laughs> <laughs> tree of coconuts just ready to eat chopped it down <laughs> and so now he's gonna basically be making coconuts for everyone in town apparently yes. good it's not what you would expect with the flavor that coconut usually is and especially the thing they call the coconut meat you know like this white stuff that's on the inside it doesn't taste anything like the normal idea of what you'd think coconut is. It tastes like tasteless, tasteless, but with the texture of like maybe like fish fillet or something. That's what it tastes like. So the juice is good, but again, not what you'd expect, but the meat is kind of different. <laughs> so now he's chopping them up. <laughs> yes. My mother, Alejandro. Ashi. Hmm. Yo. Ashi. Hola. Well, we found out this is the church. We just um, looked inside, and there's a little Cuba for Christ, para Cristo. And this is the sanctuary. Uh, tin roof. And three, three, four, five, six. there's six chairs on each side with a little podium and a little speaker up in the corner and that's pretty much it. This is like the whole church, just this little tiny room on this back road with for some reason this brand new piano just or keyboard just sitting in the corner with bubble tape covering it. <laughs> that's only like the, the only modern thing in, in here but oh well, went in Cuba. There's a whole zoo full of animals in here, and the first that just started running at me is this chicken. Just started coming straight for me, and I never even saw it coming out of these bushes over here. Suddenly it just appeared, just started running right at me. Then, these old cows, just eating this grass literally all day, but still so hungry for some reason. I, I don't know why, because I guess, I don't know, we feed cows wheat. I have no idea what we feed cows in America, but apparently more than grass because the cows are very uh, thin. And on the way here, Thailand was telling us that in the zoo they don't give any of the animals meat, so the lions in their local zoo eat grass. That's all they eat. The lions just eat grass literally all day. 
for some reason there's also like this chicken coop just out in the open over here with like 500 chickens just eating away. <laughs> but it's not really a coop, it's just, they're just out in the grass. I don't know, I think that's why we saw all of those, uh, all those chickens on the street because they just walk all over Cuba or something. All the chickens all the time. Who knows? Okay, so we are now at the persecuted church in Pernambuco. Uh, and this wall here is special, I guess, because the people in the local community did not like the church. They did not, particularly like the music, I guess, they didn't want to hear the worship songs going on on Sundays and all that. So they took stones and literally stoned the church until the roof collapsed and they had to rebuild a bunch of the church. And um, instead of just, you know, getting rid of all of the rocks and whatnot, they actually built this wall using the rocks um, that were used to actually stone the church. So, yeah, pretty good. When God opened the gates, nobody can close them. And many glorious, many glorious times are coming. Como dijo el profeta Geo. Like the prophet said. La gloria postrera. The, the glory the, the, la, the last glory. Last glory. The, gla, the last glory. <laughs> Be it. <laughs> this is the Cuban national flower that Jorge gave to us. And we aren't able to bring it on the uh, plane, but he told us to, he wanted to give us the whole thing now. And then, um, we can take it, a piece off, and put it inside of the book. And that way we'll be able to at least save the flower parts. So. <laughs> you like to see her cry, right? Yes. You like women's cry. <laughs>